The day that we've been waiting for is here, including XAML IntelliSense and Hot Reload for .NET MAUI inside of Visual Studio Code. So no matter where you're developing your .NET MAUI applications, you have some sweet productivity built in. And today we're gonna check out all the goodies. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, read the documentation on full install if you don't have the .NET MAUI extensions or, of course, even the .NET workloads for .NET MAUI installed. I have them here. You can do this on Windows, Mac, or Linux, so no matter where you're at. Then you get some insight on what you can deploy for. So I'm here on Windows, so I'm going to be able to do Windows and Android. So let's hop over to Visual Studio Code. Uh, and the first thing that we're going to do is actually install this stuff. So I'm going to go into extensions, and I'm going to type in .NET Maui. Now I already have all the .NET Maui stuff installed, so I just need to install the extension. Now this is going to bring in additionally the C Sharp extension and the C Sharp Dev Kit, so it sits on top of those. And there's a bunch of other great extensions too, built by the community and other companies. So definitely check that stuff out. But we're going to install the .NET Maui extension here, and this is again going to install those other dependencies as well. So we'll go ahead and clear this out here. And we're going to see now alongside like my code spaces and my live share stuff that's going on here, we can see that we're getting the installation of C sharp dev kit, C sharp .net, all that stuff. And with that running, now I can go into the file explorer and I can see this create new project. I can also come in here and say .net and there's all of these different, ex different uh, commands that I can use. So I'm a very GUI person. So I like to say create new project. This is going to load up and find all of the different project templates that are on my .NET SDK. And that will include the .NET MAUI ones as well, uh, which we can see here. So here's all my Aspire ones, here's my MAUI ones, and I can create simple, you know, all sorts of different apps in here. So let's just go ahead and say .NET MAUI app. And I'm going to go ahead and put this into my demo folder. There we go. Perfect. All right. I'm going to say MAUI app 4. That's a good name for it. And create project. All right, so a few things are going to happen here if you've never used the Visual Studio Code extensions for .NET MAUI. The first thing is that we still, of course, have a full sort of file browser that's going on here. But we can also note that on the bottom here, we see .NET MAUI SDK is verifying the environment. We can see projects are being loaded up here, and we kind of get the normal VS Code experience that we're used to. Now, that being said, if we look over here on the bottom right, we can say I have my GitHub Copilot extension and I have my Visual Studio uh, subscription lit up here as well for the C Sharp Dev Kit. Now, the great part about the C Sharp Dev Kit with .NET MAUI is you get the full solution explorer. So you get to actually see all of your dependencies. You can right click manage your NuGet packages. You can see all of your XAML files all nested here, which is nice. And now you get all of the sort of normal IntelliSense and and Copilot experience that you'd be used to. Now, in the release version that I have here of the .NET MAUI extension, if I go into the XAML page, I can come in and I can now say, you know, open a bracket, and I get all of the IntelliSense that I'd be used to inside of Visual Studio. So I could say label, there we go. And now, of course, uh, Copilot's gonna ask me if I wanted to just add that in. And of course I do, I can come in and I can say uh, background, uh, color, for example, and we could say, let's say equals, yeah, light blue. Perfect. So I get all of this. If I want a different color here, I can go ahead and control space to bring up the IntelliSense as well. And I could say light coral, for example, and I get all of that coming in. Now, what's also nice is as I hover over the different properties or events, I'm getting the IntelliSense sort of comments uh, information of those properties, which is nice as well. So we see that all there. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to save that and let's go ahead and run it. So I'm going to come over here and let's go ahead and say run and debug. And this is going to run my application uh, over here. So this is going to bring it up and I've gone ahead and just targeted windows here. So we're just going to get a windows application on my machine. Now, if I wanted to do and deploy to a different machine, I could come into this little bracket over here and say, select debug, which would give me all of the options that I can go to. So here, Windows or boot up an Android emulator or as well. And of course, if I'm on Mac, I can boot to iOS or to my Mac device as well, which is great. 
Okay, perfect. So here I can see my entire application. I can see it running here. I can go ahead and click, 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 and I'm totally good to go. Now, if I come in and I say, hello, welcome to hot reload, I would expect for it to reload, but I'm not able to in the release version of the extension because hot reload is inside of the pre-release version, at least of time of this recording. So let's go ahead and get that going on my machine. So I'm going to stop debugging here. And then what I'm going to do is come back over to my extensions. And what I want to show you is if I select .NET MAUI, I can look at the change log. This is always great to do. And we can see in the current stable release here, it's going to give me some new project updates. But if I click on this switch to pre-release, that will install the pre-release version, which now I can look at the change log and see that there is preview support for XAML hot reload over here, which is great. I can also enable this by coming in and enabling the pre-release versions of C Sharp and also of the C Sharp dev kit. So they're all sort of chained together here. So you want to install all three of those preview extensions. That's normally how I actually just develop <laughs> pretty much. So I'm just going to hit the restart and we'll be good to go. Now for good measure, I just like to close it and then just reopen it sometimes with these extensions just to really verify everything is totally good. And VS code will open this up for me automatically. And you can also go into your settings. And if you go to extensions, you'll see .NET MAUI and C Sharp and C Sharp dev kit. And you're gonna see right here, debug hot reload XAML enables XAML hot reload while debugging. So you can enable or disable that. And there's all sorts of stuff going on here. So you definitely want to check that out and make sure that settings there. So close it down, reopen it, and you'll be good to go. All right. So now we have our solution going on here. We have our main page. And let's go back over here. Now, I like to create a launch uh, profile here as well. So that'll create the launch profile for me. So I can just go in, select it here, and hit run. It's another great option as well. So make sure you have one of those launch JSONs there. And this will go ahead and launch it up over here on my Windows device again. So now in this case, uh, our label is on top. So hopefully we get it with hot reload uh, going on and we can go ahead and see it here. Uh, so let's give it a second. I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and click on this and shut, close it down a little bit and pull this off to the side. So we can get a nice side by side going on here. There we go. Perfect. Pull this over here so we can see it, which would be nice on my screen. Rad. Okay. So now let's type in XAML hot reload and boom, it's updated right there automatically. I can go ahead and take this. I'm going to remove it. It's removed. I'm going to put it under the image and sure enough, there it is. We get our hot reload all coming in automatically, which is rad for all of our XAML hot reload goodness. So XAML IntelliSense, XAML hot reload, everything totally good to go, which is fantastic to see. Now, like I said, I can of course come in and I could go ahead and select a different debug target. So I'm going to select my Android emulator. And now when I go ahead and click this, so this is going to pull up my Android emulator and then it's going to start to debug it. So let's go ahead and give it a second here and let it start up. All right. Our app is up. So let me go ahead and just put this here. Now I like to go into the Android emulator and then there's a setting over here, um, inside of it that enables you to go in and say always on top. That's a nice little setting there. So now you can actually do your work here. So I can say, uh, welcome to Android. There you go. And it automatically updates right in front of our eyes, which is awesome to see. So we get that XAML hot reload automatically. All right. Well, that's how you enable the brand new XAML IntelliSense. Just update the extension. And then if you want to try out XAML hot reload, go ahead and install the pre-release version of the .NET extensions and the C Sharp extensions as well. There's great ways of giving the team feedback. So definitely give them feedback as you're experimenting around and playing it with your applications of course, on the different operating systems. Let me know what you think, what other features you're excited for to come to VS Code for .NET MAUI development in the comments below. That's going to do for this quick video. So until next time, I'm James. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.